my loves and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a haul video on my first ever purchase of Colourpop Cosmetics. I don't know. You can see that there. So as you can see, I got quite a few items here. So I'm just going to get a swatch in. I wanted to do lip swatches, but my lips are in horrible condition lately and I am hurting. So I decided to maybe do it on another video if I collect a few more because I do have some more on my wish list. So I'm just going to go ahead and show you guys what I picked up from Colourpop. Okay, my love. So I picked up 10 lippies and three of their eyeshadows and I am in awe of their products. So I'm going to start off with the eyeshadows and the first one is the one that I have on my eyes today. I will zoom in for you guys afterwards and I will, it's called Amaze and it is this perfect rose gold shimmer orgasmic goodness it is just gorgeous it is creamy it definitely is a creamy consistency but ends up feeling powdery afterwards not really powdery it just feels really really soft the best way to apply these and of course they recommend that that's how you apply them is using your fingers that's where you would get the most color payoff so these feel extremely similar and look similar in packaging as the mac electric cool eyeshadows this one is in dynamo so i mean but it has the same creamy consistency it goes on beautiful so i'm wondering if that's where they got their idea from super super pigmented this is a gorgeous color so if you love your golden rosy coppery colors get this hunty and it is called amaze because it is amazing okay next color i have is called lace and it is listen let's just put it like this i love everything from ColourPop. i love everything i picked out i had no idea what anything looked like before i picked it out i just wung it wung it winged it I just winged it no sleep well, this color is absolutely gorgeous it is a straight up purple with red flecks of glitter in it i cannot wait to use this on a smoky eye i definitely think maybe on top of a black base it would look just oh divine so if you guys want to see a tutorial with this purple or any of these just let me know down below <laughs> the next color i have is called bay hey bay and this is just divine i mean i just can't stress this enough they're called super shock shadows for a reason they're absolutely gorgeous so this is definitely a good reminder of the mac blue black pigment except this has more of a purple maroon tone to it with that same iridescent shift of greens and maroon and, and reddish and, and all that stuff maroon reddish purple it blends out beautifully so if you just want a wash of color of that same intensity but maybe not so pow it does look kind of like a bruise so you have to be very careful with colors like this but this would be a great all over the lid color with a nice blend of browns or black into it and it is gorgeous okay my love so on to the lippy sticks that i picked up and i'm gonna go ahead and start with the color that i'm wearing on my lips today do you like it it is a very pearlescent colors not something that I would normally wear but I said what the hell right <laughs> so this is the color called wet and it is mm, a taupey brown wet looking color it's very pearlized and I will swatch it on my hand because I like swatching things it feels really really nice now I will say that I've been wearing these lippies for like the past week <laughs> and I noticed that they they smell familiar like I get a scent kind of like you know when you breathe in something you can kind of taste it that's kind of the scent taste that I get and it reminds me of crayons guess I must have chewed on a couple crayons back in my day and uh, it does kind of resemble that scent taste of crayons or something like that but it's not too strong it's just something you notice um it has no scent to it and i'm assuming that's just the scent of the product itself but again they wear very very well and i've been loving them so far but this is the first time of me wearing this pearlized color so i bought one pearlized one set and, and the rest were mattes so this is the pearlized shade this one is wet so the next color i have is a satin version and this one's in the color rocket and again it is a satin shade and this looks like a pink corally color and it is a pink corally color now this goes on nice this is the color right here and I don't know if the camera is really translating the color that I see here it is a lot more 
on the fluorescent coral pink end um, but it looks a little bit more toned down here on my viewfinder but it is just as pretty on the viewfinder as it is on my swatch yeah I might pick up a couple more satins and they do have a variety of colors like they have green they have blues purples you name it they got it okay so now I'm gonna run down the line of the mattes and I got eight of the mattes and the first color I got was brink I haven't tried this color yet go figure it's like a nudie pinky color and this is right up my alley as you can see there it is like a perfect muted pink very neutral very pretty um the mattes i love them i just they're not like completely drying matte they're like sticky i don't know i don't know how to explain it you're gonna have to try this on your own and they're five dollars the next color i have is frenchy it is a pretty looking i don't know this sometimes clicks kind of hard but whatever and this one is a really pretty orangey based red and that's cute I definitely can darken it up or mix it with any other color it is on the bright side so it is something I think I can pull off even with uh, my yellow teeth next color after is heart on I love the names and this is more of a fuchsia pink shade it's gorgeous it reminds me of some of the pinks that I have and it is so pretty after that I is grind I wore this the other day and I posted a picture on Instagram and at work I got nothing but compliments because they were like I can't pull off a purple lip yes you can hunty you pick yourself up a purple lipstick and you rock it like nobody's business and if you want to you can pick up one of these five dollar ones and this one's called grind <laughs> this one is like perfection it reminds me of heroin definitely reminds me of heroin it wears beautifully it wears off kind of like awesome to me like it wears off into like that shade so like on the outer lip you can see the this color and as it starts to wear you see this like bright fuchsia stain coming around I don't know I like the way it wore off so the next color I got was bitchette which is right up my alley and I did I wear this no I did not wear this I haven't worn this one yet I haven't de-virginized it um, this one's called Bitchette I wanted it right off the back this was the one color that I wanted I think I had seen us yeah I did see someone wearing Bitchette and I was like yeah gotta have it screw that shit I just did a weird swatch but this is more on a blue based red very deep deep red it's gorgeous perfection y'all know y'all know next color I got was Dahlia this is a gorgeous gorgeous shade I haven't worn this one yet but I did swatch it and if you guys pay attention to my Instagram or follow me on Instagram you probably saw the whole bunch of swatches that I did of these when I got them because I couldn't wait I just couldn't wait there was too many lipsticks to not swatch and this looks awfully familiar to another lipstick so I'm gonna swatch it again and I don't know where all right I'm gonna swatch it right here it is a very deep maroon wine color gorgeous 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 and it's called Dahlia and I think the name suits it beautifully the other day I wore creature and this looks like it would be more on the browner reddish tone to this and on the website I guess it looked different to me when I picked them up but I'm gonna swatch them next to each other and um if anything one has more of a burgundy tone to it a uh, minute burgundy tone to it and I will zoom in So this is Creature and that is Dahlia. So Dahlia and Creature. And I really can't see much of a difference. I'm kind of disappointed that I didn't pick up a totally different shade, but that's what I get. <laughs> and that's okay because I'm working on collecting all of these. So. so last but not least, it is a fabulous color and it's called Feminist. You go girl. And this is a very dark, dark purple. I haven't worn it yet. I kind of wish I would have worn it today. Maybe would have been too much, but whatever there's no rules to make up and there it is it looks almost black it is very very rich very very vampy very very beautiful and it is a pure purple it's just so purple it's almost black so absolutely gorgeous these are amazing these wear great they are not matte like drying matte they're more on the sticky side so you feel some give to them when you wear the matte shade so if you're concerned about the mattes being extremely drying these are not and the price for everything from the ColourPop website is five dollars each if you're looking for any last minute gifts they send you this really really fast 
they packaged this really really well and I think it's so worth getting it even if it's for yourself I definitely recommend you get it for yourself <laughs> so these are just amazing I'm so so excited that I finally got my hands on this product so as you can see my hands I got quite a few swatches and I'm not complaining because I still spent less than I would normally spend on a high-end lipstick which I'm okay with that too because I'm a lip pourer anyway guys so I thank you guys so much for watching I hope you guys like this video please thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video I love you guys <laughs> bye